Hello, welcome to another Blender tutorial. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a simple rain particle system. So first let us take a plane, shift A, mesh, plane, scale it. And now in order to create the rain particles, just we need to duplicate this plane by pressing shift D. And just we will scale it. And now just we need to add a subdivisions for this plane in order to make a proper collide with the rain particles. So just I will go into the edit mode and right click subdivide so according to your requirement you can subdivide as much as you can now what we have to do is just we need to create the rain particles for this uh, from this plane here so we need to select this we need to go to particles and just let us add the particles and let us uh, make it like 10,000 particles per second and now if you want to start the particles uh, in the very beginning so just we need to put them frame to like minus five or something and also if you want to end like i can put it to like thousand and now if you click on this play so now it is going to play so now what the thing is just we need to change the shape of this uh, rain particles now it is here so in order to do that first we need to create a shape uh, so what i will do is just i will take a spear and now i will create the drop kind of uh, shape here so in order to do that i will go to the edit mode and just i will select this single vertex by pressing one and now I will click on this thing. So what the thing is we need to enable this option called proportional editing. So if you enable this thing, so whenever we move this vertex, it will like drag all the remaining vertex according to the circle. So now you'll see, so before pro proportional editing, suppose if you move this thing, now it is creating a sharp kind of uh, shape here. So what I will do is just I will enable this thing and now we will try to move G, Z, and see now you are getting that circle so if you if you want to increase and decrease the circle just you can scroll it down and now you can move it now we got this shape so size doesn't matter we can change over here so now what the thing is uh, instead of this pair we need to replace with this drop particles here so we will select this thing and if you come down in the particle system and you can see there is an option like render so here you can see there is an option render as so object and now we need to select the object so here you can see instant object so select this and we need to select this thing so see now the rain droplets has been replaced so now if you click on this play and this way if you want to increase and decrease the size of this rain particles if you come down uh, here you can see there is an scale uh, let's say 0 0.2 or something so it's big 0 0.02 finally we'll go to 0 0.05 so if you want to make a random scale just you can use this option like 0 0.03 or something okay so now if you click on this play so now we need to create the collision for this ground so in order to do that we can select this and here we can go to this option called like physics and here we can enable this option called like collision and also make sure it has to kill the particles and now what the thing is just uh, not only collision we need to create the dynamic effect whenever the rain droplets fall onto the water uh, you, you can get like a wave kind of uh, shapes so in order to do that first we'll apply the dynamic paint for this ground so like select this thing and here there is an option like dynamic paint and make it as a canvas so make sure it is a canvas and here we need to select this add canvas and now uh, if you come down here surface type has to be waves so because we want to create the waves kind of effect and after that we need to apply the dynamic paint for this rain particles so we need to select this so just add dynamic paint and here now this is a brush so select this brush and click on add brush and here the paint type uh, should be like particle system as we are creating the dynamic effect by using the particle so here we need to select the particle system and also here we need to select the particle system so now if you click on this play so see we are getting but the thing is here we are not getting the proper thing so we need to add a subdivision for this plane so select this and here if you go to this uh, sorry like modifiers and here you can go to add modifiers select this subdivision surface and like you can increase uh, let's say let it put it to like two or something and now if you click on this play so now we are getting this particle system so now we are getting nice waves over this thing 
But what the thing is, suppose if you want to increase more waves, uh, so let us increase the subdivision for this plane more. Like let us pass and select this, go to the edit mode, right click, make more subdivisions. And now if you click on this plane, now you can see we got this more rain particles here. So in this way, we can create this rain particles uh, by using this simple particle system here. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.